Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and this is Board Game Inquisition and today we're going to be unboxing something super exciting um, which is the Castles of Tuscany which is Stefan Feld's latest offering and this comes from Aaliyah Games and I'm super excited about it. It's got this very impressive looking green cover. Feels nice and sturdy for an Aaliyah game um, and let's go and see exactly what's right inside of it. So if we look at the side it's one of those beautiful numbered Aaliyahs, it's number three. Um, so this is obviously a newer series. It's quite a big box, it's got a lot of weight to it and on the back we have much text in many languages, why am I not surprised? Um, and as you can see, as I've said already, it's got a whole bunch of hexes, looks cool, it's got some meeples, big desks. Um, it's for two to four players, it's supposed to take 45 to 60 minutes. Um, age is 10 plus and it's got this lovely light bulb icon that says three out of 10, so apparently this isn't overly difficult. All right, let's get right into the box, that's what we're all here for really, isn't it? Oh, big box. Very sturdy box actually. So, so, so. Oh, um, and that standard Aaliyah kind of pattern is inside the box. Can you guys see it? Um, that lovely little crisscross thing. Okay, so we have, first off, two packets of cards. Okay, we'll get to those in a moment. We have a bag of tokeny things. Um, cool, it's not too many wooden things. They're quite cute. And then straight into the rule book. Well, I have a feeling there's one of many rule books. <laughs> yes, so the rule book seems to have come in German. I flip it over well if I flip it over no matter what way I do this is the wrong way around so this one is definitely English um, and it tells you a little bit about the game which is cool so it's the beautiful Tuscany region is the home of the Italian Renaissance as influential princes the players make creative decisions to build a region into a flourishing domain okay I can get behind that very Euro game concept what are the languages we got this is where I try and recognize them and don't that's definitely French oh the smell off of this is actually kind of powerful it's very chemically. Um, that looks like Italian. And then we got, this is where I'm gonna fail me. I, Spanish, I'm going with Spanish. These, these are my guesses. Um, so yeah, this game is for all sorts of um, languages. So it must mean everything's language independent. So we got some baggies, which is always a positive so that you don't have to look like a drug dealer when you need to buy bag components. Well, not the, uh, normally as a board gamer, you have loads of these things. So we have a couple of wooden, wooden pieces that are mostly falling apart. So let's have a look at these. So wooden piece, the first is some very small hexes. Hey, that's the mine um, from Castles of Burgundy, you may or may not recognize, um, and some new pieces. So the art on this actually isn't too bad. Now, how cheap is the cardboard? Let's have a pop. It's still very cheap cardboard. It feels a little like Castles of Burgundy, if I'm honest. Uh, maybe it'll be better when it's all out in the board, but right now popping it out of here, it definitely feels thin. And then we've got, what's this? Ooh, we've got a lot of color in this one, which is kind of cool. This is like, it literally looks like a watercolor. You can see the way the colors bleed into each other. Very cool. Okay, next up. So this is already pre-popped itself, which is usually a good sign for your cardboard. Looks like um, a list of actions we're gonna be able to perform. Very cool. I know little to nothing about this game yet. So I, I kind of like going in blind. Things we could do, more of these beautiful little hexy things. Cool, and some tokens. And then we have another one of these. I wonder will we get one for every player? It looks the same. It does indeed look the same. And we have more tokens. Yes, it's looking like we're gonna get one of these for every player. Okay, I, I like having your own player board. I'm a big fan of that kind of thing. And we haven't found the wheel yet that was on the back of the box. So yeah, another one. That guy looks like he's wearing a hoodie. Look at him, gangster. Very cool, and more tokens. Are the colors in this are kind of, I don't know, maybe it's just because you're not used to bright colors in Euro games. I quite like it. So yeah, another one. Right, this work gets interesting. So more men in hoodies because there's never enough men in hoodies. More brightly colored pieces, okay. And brightly colored pieces. I'm sensing a trend here. Um, like pick up a card token. Oop, they do pop out really, really easily. These ones feel a little thicker actually. Um, than the other tokens did, so that's quite good. And now, the big finale. Ooh. There you go. Do, 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 do. So yeah, it comes in two pieces, it's not one piece to fit in the box. I actually really like the art on it, I think that's very striking. And I'm very curious now to see how it works as we go round and round the wheel. I like that. And the back, just the wheel. Okay, so let's move on 
to the smaller packets of cards and wooden components. Okie dokie, so wooden component time. We have a bunch of men with little hammers over their shoulder. I think those are the guys that look like they were wearing hoodies in, <laughs> in the little pictures we had. There are some cubes that are not cubes. See the weird shape there? A little odd, okay. Um, we have obviously the player colors, which seem to be yellow, blue, green, and red. Very traditional. And then we have these little color hexes. These are beautiful color. They don't, I want to call them ocean tiles, even though I know they're not. Um, but they give that kind of vibe off. So yeah, there's actually very few wooden components in this. They're lovely and chunky. They're nicely made. And I really like the colors. Okay, so let, next, let's see what was in those decks of cards. Okay, so the first deck we have is these buildings on the back. So uh, this is definitely like the mine that we saw earlier on the tokens. So obviously they go together and then it seems that on the back of it, they have like the wheel. Okay, so this one's red. It's got like churches and things. So we got lots of black ones. So the, the picture is nice. It's not particularly fancy. Um, then we've got more of these red ones that look specific. Very much like a bunch of houses, um, <laughs> red roofed houses, very Italian. Um, so then we seem to have these blue ones, which are a little bit more like, I don't know, huts? Not quite huts, no, these are quite fancy houses. They all look quite fancy houses, don't they? So then the green one's definitely a castle, right? You can't, you can't mistake that building for anything. So it seems like they're all building types, interesting. Okay, so now we have a picture of a cart with like cards in it. Okay, where is he going? Um, we have a couple of these, so maybe it means draw cards, something like that. Then we have one with kind of point markers. Um, so these card size is small, they're not full size. Um, they do feel good, they're very really waxy and plasticky kind of thing. Oh, there's that weird shaped cube. Um, oh, oh, and there's a meeple back in the wagon. So clearly this is all connected um, with all of those pieces we got. But yeah, the cards are nice, they're just, they're, they're small. Okay, so the next set of cards. Okay, so we have one card that just has the game's logo on it. Very impressive. And then we seem to have kind of more locations. So they're kind of, this is all kind of light green. Okay, it's good. You know, the art is nice actually. Like it's a shame that the pictures are so small, but I can see it happening. So then we got orange buildings. What's next? We must have yellow. It's very colorful, isn't it? Are you guys like, do you guys like the colors as much as I do? And then we have some more mines because, you know, there's never enough mines in the world. Okay, so now let's put all of this back into the box. Well, it fits pretty well into the box, actually. There's plenty of room in here. Um, so that was a pretty easy reboxing. Um, so what do you guys think? What do you, are you as excited about this as I am? Um, now that you know what's inside the box, are you compelled to try more and to know more? Um, but thank you for watching. Um, if you like my videos, why not like or subscribe to the channel where I do things other than unbox videos. I actually talk about them on occasion and I would love to have you around for more videos. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Take care and bye bye.